Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question uh, which may be asked in a uh, DBA uh, interview. The question is, what is IO Affinity in SQL Server? So um, to answer this question, actually, I need to go back a little bit uh, more detail uh, about the affinity. In, in SQL Server, <clears throat> the there are two types of affinities one is a cpu affinity and uh, other is io affinity so cpu and io affinity collectively called processor affinity so you have a different setting for cpu affinity but uh, just to answer this question io affinity is that uh, uh, if you have a uh, uh, multiple cpus on a uh, on a single machine and SQL Server is running. Uh, SQL Server is very intensive as far as uh, IO concerns. That is uh, reading the data back and forth from, excuse me, from the disk. So uh, sometimes what happen is that if uh, the IO operations of SQL Server is really good, the performance of SQL Server is really good. So that's why it is uh, sometimes mandatory to assign the resources to SQL Server uh, and we can assign the resources in terms of CPU affinity and in terms of IO affinity. So as far as IO affinity concerns, uh, that is uh, input and output from the disk to the disk back and forth. So what we're gonna do is that uh, if we have uh, four CPUs, what we wanted to do that uh, we want to assign two CPUs uh, to just for this input and output uh, output operations that SQL Server uh, does uh, during its operation. Let's say in peak period, there is a lot of I.O. Go, uh, going on and we have six CPUs. So what we can do is that um, we can uh, go ahead and configure three CPUs just for this operation. So when we configure all those CPUs just for input and I, um, input out, output operations of SQL Server, that's called IO Affinity. And uh, let me show you where you can set up the IO Affinity. Uh, you have to be careful um, when you're configuring uh, the CPU Affinity and IO Affinity. However, just to answer this question, I'm gonna quickly show you where to set up IO Affinity. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open my management studio. This is my SQL Server. If you right click on the SQL Server instance that you're concerned about or you wanted to configure, you click on properties and you click on processors. If you notice right here, I'm gonna make the screen a little bigger, uh, it says enable processors. So uh, the first option you have is automatically set up processor affinity mask for all processors. That means that um, um, SQL Server will decide uh, the affinity but as soon as if you uncheck this bar you will see all the processors that you have that what you wanted to actually do on your own if you have a four processors all the four will be enabled whether you wanted to um, uh, set up the process uh, uh, processor affinity to uh, three CPUs two CPUs maybe one CPU that you have for a particular application on the same server you don't want to, you, you don't want SQL server to use that processor that is just configured for uh, some other uh, uh, process so you can configure it that way but uh, up here the second option is automatically set IO affinity mass for all processors so in order to configure IO affinity you need to uncheck this bar because right now it's SQL Server who is deciding whether uh, how many CPUs it's going to use for its IO affinity mass. In order to uh, uh, get into operating system and uh, tell SQL Server that you can take over uh, these CPUs whenever you need to, whenever uh, there is a peak period of IO operations, you can go ahead and use this uh, uh, these CPUs or you can have these CPUs always available for your IO operations. You need to uncheck this bar and you need to uh, select those processors that you have um, and set that IO affinity mass for those processor. So what will happen is those processor will be involved in all the IO operation that SQL Server does uh, during its uh, IO operations. So this is how you set it up. Uh, you need to understand way more detail when you're setting up the processor 
uh, affinity mask and IO affinity mask. So please just don't go ahead and configure both of them at the same time. You need to uh, read much more detail before you do that. But uh, as far as this uh, interview question, uh, I just wanted to show you that where you set up this IO affinity mask. I hope it helps.